This has been one of the most bombastic seasons of the show. Dorit's assets were frozen last year, the year before. Erica's going through this. Who is the accountant in Beverly Hills? Comparing like my life to Erica's life. Very, very different stories. To be honest, I'm kind of bored with it. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Link Lauren position. I'm about to sit down with Sutton Strack from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I don't know what's going to happen. Don't know what we're going to get into, but I know she's the MVP this season. She's been carrying the entire season on her back. I can't wait to talk to her. She's the only one who's been asking the hard-hitting questions we want answers to. So without further ado, here's my conversation with Sutton Strack. How is your ankle doing? Is your ankle doing okay? My ankle's good. I think it's like 95% recovery. Oh my God. You, okay, so what exactly happened with the ankle? Because we didn't get a straight story on what happened with the ankle. Well, it was just a weird, so I'm ha I have really bad feet problem. Problems, from being a dancer, like probably. Pro probably, yes. I So I'm suffering from this, from neuropathy, mm -hmm. which has created my feet to be kind of weak. Okay. And I was at Kathy Hilton's house and this huge statue thing <laughs> fell and I just, I just went the wrong way on it and oh. sprains are crazy. And it's a yeah. really bad sprain, like a really bad sprain. Cause I didn't know when they wheeled you out the other night, if that was sort of to be cheeky or if that was- It was to be cheeky. Okay, I okay, like, I really... thought so. How was your trip to New York otherwise? Um, it was quick. Quick, really yeah, I quick. saw you. I saw you went to Nello on Instagram, and anytime I pass that yeah. restaurant, I always have to take pictures of the little bears, the, the red bears, bears they yeah. have outside eating. It's so cute, but it looks like you're back yeah. in LA now. Yes, in back this in LA. really pretty room. Is it just you in the house with two boys now, or who's left in the house? Yes, just me with two boys. Oh my god, what is it like only having the boys and not the girl to counteract? <laughs> to be honest, I think I've spent a total of five nights in this house now. So. <laughs> I haven't, and the boys Where have, have you always, been? You've been in the rental? I don't even know. I can't remember. I don't Sutton, even know. Only five been. nights in the house. I don't even know. I can't remember. We've been, you'd have to ask Josh, my assistant, because he's the only one that knows where I've, I can't, I honestly can't remember. All Josh is the is one, Pat, Josh helps the one set this up on, a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Josh is great. But we all we do, all we seem to do is pack suitcase and unpack suitcase and pack suitcase. I'm leaving for the desert today as soon oh as my. I can stop talking to all oh of my you God. people. For rest so, and relaxation or for work? Yes, for rest and relaxation. In fact, yeah, put like, your leg up, you know, put your foot up. Okay. That ankle yeah, was everything. turning in. Mm -mm. It was turning into a cankle and we can't have that. That ankle needs to be no. elevated and rested. It did turn into a cankle. It was crazy. It was, it was giving so cankle big. energy. <laughs> it was so big. It was crazy. And so, you know, I had seen um, at the time my boyfriend, mm -hmm. his um, brother-in-law is a doctor. Okay. And he like in an, in an emergency doctor in prison, it's like four prisons. <laughs> and so he's good. He's good. That means he's, he's not good. in prison. He's the doctor he's not for in the prison. prison. Okay. He's, a he's an emergency doctor for like a bunch of prisons. Okay. And he looked at it on Sunday and he was like, Sutton, that ankle is not looking good. And I said, I right. know it's really swollen. And so he wrapped it for me Okay. and said, I really think you are going, he wanted me to go on Sunday before we left mm -hmm. to go um, to Del Mar. And I was like, I don't want to go to the emergency room today. Same. I want to relax. Yeah. So I didn't go. And um, I drove to Del Mar, which, you know, <laughs> which is fine, but it makes it's it fine. cool up. Yeah. It's fine. And when I got to Del Mar, I took a picture of it and I was like, this doesn't look good. And I, I had, and I showed it to one of my producers and I, I said, my doctor told me I need to go to the emergency room just mm -hmm. to make sure it's not broken. I knew that I needed to get it checked because I was, because it was getting <laughs> so big. It was but turning was like, into what? a cankle. <laughs> it was just so bad. So um, I told one of the producers and she drove me to the emergency room 
and he it wasn't broken. He said it's so badly sprained, you have to stay off of it right. for a week because I'm not going to put you in a boot because the boot it's not going to get better. Well, we've seen photos of you in the boot. Do you bring the boot yeah. out when it gets bad and flared up, or when do you bring the boot out? Oh my gosh, we when I <laughs> when we were in New York actually at LaGuardia, and no, we were in we were at JFK. Where were we? We were in um, LAX. And we were waiting in the line to get on the bus to take you to the other terminal. The worst. And I was like, this is when we should have brought the boot. This is when you need the wheelchair. You need to call ahead and ask for the wheelchair is what you need to do. Well, then that I way can, you can get, get a doctor. Get a doctor. Yeah. But, you know, the boot gets you special treatment. But I don't <laughs> want to ever put that boot on again. That's why you have to be very careful with sprains to take care of them because you don't right. want to get back because you, you can re-sprain it. Right. And you can so, only take anyway. so many like anti-inflammatories and all of that. Yeah. How yeah. has it been having the kids at home during the pandemic? Like when classes went online, were you frazzled? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, I had all three of them at home um, when it first started. And but, you know, they're students, so they they're OK. They do their thing. Yeah. And I you know, I was we are very fortunate. Um, we had a big yard. Mm -hmm. pool you know they have dogs that they can right. play with outside and all of that and so we were okay you know sure. it was how many years you know, until you're an empty nester oh why are you asking me that no, just <laughs> i just turned 50 um I think you'll love being an empty nester though because now you have your boyfriend and you guys can run around the house I have a like boyfriend. A Who's boyfriend. the guy on the show? Who's the guy on the show driving you down? He broke up with me on Valentine's Day when I was in the boot. I'm, <laughs> you. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Well, you haven't taken yeah. the pictures down. You haven't taken the pictures down because you're an yes, adult. Yes, I have. You have? I think there might be a picture to uh Maybe that's <gasps> on Google, though. That's on Google, though. I don't well, know. Well, that is not my problem. I am not in charge of Google. You're not getting back. You and the ex are co-parents. You're not... That's not happening. My ex husband anymore. and I are co parents and okay. we're in a very good place. He's, you know, we will always have that bond. And we've known each other since we were 13. So well, that's what I wanted to ask you because I know you'd said you guys met in eighth grade. Tell me about yeah. the evolution of your relationship because you mentioned also growing together in your business and becoming successful together. Tell me about that. Well, so what I meant by that was, you know, when, when we, got married there's a partnership in that and mm -hmm. in his work mm -hmm. i helped him and not in what he did i know nothing about finance <laughs> but i can go to a cocktail party and talk mm -hmm. to people right and um i had alan greenspan at my house for a dinner mm -hmm. and i sat next to him and i can talk to alan greenspan Right. Not about economics, but I can talk to him about the soup that he's eating. <laughs> you know, I mean, I love you so much, <laughs> but that's a true story. Right. Um, but you, you, you do it together. Mm -hmm. Well, Felt basically, like I think, yeah, I think what people want to know is like, was he rich when y'all met or he became no, wealthy he was over time when we met? So, right. No. He was not. Okay. And then when we, <laughs> no. And um, then when we got married, you know, we were, but, well, I was, you know, working for a nonprofit and he right. had, he was in graduate school when we started dating. So graduate students aren't rich. Right. Come on. No, he, you know, he was making a nice living and we, that's what I mean. Like we did this together. Your lives evolved together. That's what I was trying to get to. That's right. And right. we made decisions together as far as his career went. Okay. And that's how I think a lot of people are, were comparing like my life to Erica's life in that right. kind of way. And it, very, very different stories. Right. Um, sure. No, he didn't have any money when we got married. <laughs> someone wrote it. <laughs> someone wrote into me this morning and they were like, Dorit's assets were frozen last year the year before erica's going through this who is the accountant in beverly hills like who is doing their books in beverly not hills? mine you don't but, come, you I, don't have I, the I, same accountant the same cpa anything 
you're good. No, I have the best business manager <laughs> and he stays on me like white on rice. He right. is so strict. And in fact, I get in trouble. Like uh, he's, you know, it's like yeah. having another husband. Let's move on to more germane issues. So you just had the reunion. How was it preparing for the reunion? What did you do to get Zen and ready for the reunion? There was no Zen. I moved on <laughs> Monday and did the reunion on Thursday. And I okay. didn't have a dress until Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Oh, uh, when God. we got we got Josh I will and I, say the pictures yeah. that I saw the blue because they posted pictures from the reunion, the blue dress, you looked incredible. Some of the out, other outfits I was like, what are y'all wearing? But you looked really good at the reunion. So I'm excited Thank to you. watch it. <laughs> Thank you. I think um, I thought it looked really good. I am the worst at taking pictures. OK, like, well, you have a we, gay assistant, like, so Josh can do this for you. I know Josh <laughs> is not a good photographer. Oh, he, I'm sending okay. him to photography school because he's <laughs> terrible. He's not good. And also, Josh was not allowed to be there at the reunion at all. Was he not in the back room in the no. green room? Oh. No, 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 he wasn't there. Ju just um, makeup and hair. And we, you know, I'm not that I don't do that. I'm not like, let's take a lot of pictures. I don't pose right. and do all of that stuff. Right. So I'm like, oh, gosh, we got to take a picture. And so I didn't really have that many pictures um to send well but, we'll all see it is yeah. there one more episode you'll and then the reunion? And yeah person. we'll see it so i think is there another just week of episodes and then the reunion after or are there a few more episodes two more, i think we have two more episodes okay i mean people are then, so yeah. eager to see the reunion i know andy was teasing it on sirius xm talking about it and i know you went out with garcelle for drinks afterward what was it like just chilling we <laughs> how did you feel food. leaving we went out for French fries. Are you kidding okay. me? Well, I saw that. We I know. Well, I saw the cheersing, the cheersing with the drink. So we I did imagine. A cheers. Yes. You guys made it out alive from the reunion. <laughs> well, and let me tell you for the record that Kyle did invite uh, Garcelle and myself to okay. um, join her and Dorit and um, Crystal. They all went to the Polo Lounge, and okay. but we we like to Garcelle and I our team we're right. all friends mm -hmm. so we were with them and i had on like some ripped jeans so i wasn't allowed to go to the polo lounge so, <laughs> but so we we were all like invited to just, but you you guys so just went and did your own thing because you were casual and just wanted to go chill yeah Without yeah. giving away any spoilers, are you good with how you left everything at the reunion? You feel clean and good about everything that went down? Or are we going to have to pick up the pieces next year? <laughs> I, you know, I don't, <laughs> That's a loaded I can't question. I what the future is going to bring. Right. No, I don't know what the future is going to bring. Um, you know, I always feel clean and good. I mean, I right. try to. For sure. I feel like we're I both. Ver um, are you a Virgo? We're both Virgos and we're both Southern. I'm from Texas and I feel like we're OK yeah, going right. into like I'm so fine going into a room where I'm not OK with everybody. I'm fine with an awkward situation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like what I loved yeah, about like, you this. All right. Also, what I loved about you this season and why everyone's calling you the MVP and why everyone loves you this season is you're like the canary in the cave who's holding up a sign like, hi, something's going on here. <laughs> I have some questions <laughs> about things that oh, are going that's on. That's funny. You're like, That's hi, funny. I haven't heard I, that one. I've been in that situation where you say what everyone else is thinking and you think you're all on the same page and then people hang you out to dry and be slaughtered. Yeah, you, you kind of turn around and you're like, what happened? And I can tell, especially yeah. watching last week's episode, it seems like you're really good and someone else's issues are not your issues at all. So That's right. your life That's is right. beautiful. You have your kids. Something that people were writing, to, something people were writing to me and saying, and something I saw a lot online in relation to the small town reputation comments. Someone mentioned online, they were like, "What's wrong with wanting to have a good reputation or to maintain the reputation you built in your city or in your hometown? Like you have young kids, it would be beneficial for you to maintain a good reputation." But it was just interesting. Some of the other women couldn't fathom that on the show that you would be concerned about having a good reputation yeah you know it's interesting because i didn't know that that was going to be such a a trigger right for yeah. sure i'm like you have young kids who are still in school this other castmate of yours has a grown child is it like 
<laughs> you need to have a good reputation. Well, and I think that that's a good point. And also, I do a lot of work for charities. And a lot of the charities that I do, um, I love the part, like, for instance, American Ballet Theater. Mm -hmm. The part that I really love is um, working, putting dance education into inner city right. developments. Mm -hmm. And also putting these kids into, like, putting them into ballet classes with right. American Ballet Theater. And... Um, so it goes against my grain, mm -hmm. this whole, this whole lawsuit stuff with these victims. Right. Um, I mean, y'all are lucky I'm not on the show because I'm real shady. I would have shown up to the Ren and Beauty luncheon with one of the burn victims or something. I would have shown up with someone okay. like. Well, yeah, <laughs> there's that. For me, it resonated like, you know, I, it had nothing to do with Erica. It had to do with the lawsuit, you know? Right. And also it's like, if you're genuine friends with someone and you read major news about them, you're going to ask questions. It would be bizarre to show up and not mention a national news story to one of your right. close friends. It would be bizarre, you know? Yeah. And, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm a researcher. Right. Well, we're like Virgos. We like to go on fact finding missions. We like to get all yes. the info. Like if I go on a date yeah. with someone, I have background check them. I know where oh, they were living yeah, in 2006. I am like, background checking everybody I go on a, a mm -mm. date with. Exactly. For sure. So that's why when you showed up with the notes, I mean, it went viral when you showed up with the um, the copious notes, I think in the black Birkin, you pull out the notes and you're reading. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that is literally such a Virgo move. <laughs> well i notes. wanted to make sure that i was i didn't want to mess up right you know i'm also i'm, I'm not going to call a meeting without like an agenda right this is true this is true yeah you know i'm just like <laughs> going to make sure that i had everything right and that we knew what the facts were i mean we still don't honestly as a viewer and we're not going to we don't have to get into all of this this isn't erica no, has been so I mean, played we, out let's not to, to be honest i'm kind of bored with it that's what I'm saying. As a viewer, not we're for the so... victims because I just mm -hmm. want to see that. And we I, want you justice. Know, I don't know yes. what's gonna. I do. Right. I really do because that's gonna be. It's very sad. It's right. very sad. And um, you know, when we can help, mm -hmm. we will. Just yeah, not a good. No, I think as as a viewer. I mean, this has been one of the most bombastic seasons of the show, you know, partially because of you holding up a mirror and saying, hi, something, I have questions. But I can also yeah. tell just like the sentiment online, we're kind of fatigued from it. We either want the full story or let's move on or let's just, you know, let it yeah. play out off the show. Because at this point, yeah. it's like, that's right. We, we get conflicting stories. I don't know if it's like, She's mixing Lexapro with alcohol. I don't know. The stories are getting so cockamamie that the audience can't keep up. So maybe let's just get to the reunion. And then do you think things will be cleared up after the reunion in any way? I don't know. <laughs> so, I mean, you're guessing. I look, I watch it along with all of you guys. You know, I don't know. Yeah. So, okay, you went out for, for drinks and for French fries with Garcelle. What was it about Garcelle that you connected and resonated with? Because it seems like you guys got to know each other in the interim between last season and this season. We did. I don't mm -hmm. know. We just have this weird chemistry. Um, we like to laugh and she likes to let me be ridiculous and silly. Right. And <laughs> she she likes to laugh. Right. No, when I come because to Garcelle's LA, you me, funny. you me, Garcelle, Garcelle Josh, are going out I'm for drinks. Funny. Yeah, no, okay, but Garcelle, well, that's date. I love Garcelle's Garcelle energy. Garcelle might think she's funny. She's not funny. She she likes to laugh at me. You're the court jester, and she's like laughing. You're the one cracking jokes and being yes. funny, and she's there. Yeah, no, she's there pushing yeah. you in the she, wheelchair. <laughs> she's pushing you in the she wheelchair. She tries to be funny. No, Garcelle is funny. We just yeah. we make each other funny. I love I seeing know. Garcelle on the reel as well on the talk show. I love oh seeing gosh. Garcelle on there. She was when I so see clips good yesterday talking about the Haitian immigrants. Yeah. Just so good. And it, that was such a touching segment. And I just happened to turn the television on yesterday. Everybody is loving Garcelle. I honestly think 
you and Garcelle should do like a little spin off, like Sutton and Garcelle's weekend getaway, or you guys go somewhere. I don't know, like a Thelma and Louise kind of fun thing. I would we love should do to a see weekend that. with Bernie's. And... <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, no, we just need more of you and Garcia. I mean, if the Fox Force 5 is going to hang out together or whatever they're called, you guys can hang out together. Well, of um, course, this, we do hang out together. Yeah, for but we sure. we like it, you know. It's yeah. It's all good. I think that was getting a little blown up, the Fox Force 5, because anytime you have like 10 friends, a few are going to be closer than the rest. That's you can't exactly have 10 right. best friends, you know? It's like, That's let's exactly all grow right. up and calm down. Yeah. So would you ever consider, because you're a Southern Belle and because you're all about etiquette and manners, would you ever consider doing a book on etiquette and manners? Yeah, so I've, I've been working on a book now. Okay. And um, so it's not on etiquette and manners, but it's on uh, like events. So okay, event planning and throwing yeah. parties. Okay, I need that. Throwing parties. I still am like, which side does the fort go on? <laughs> like, I yeah. need your book ASAP. So it's a little, but it's modern and it's fun and it has some fashion in it. And right. um, also like hostess gifts and yeah, things like sure. that. Got a I always that wonder, I'm like, what do you bring if you're invited somewhere and you're not even that close with the person? Like, what gift do you bring? Alcohol? Do you usually just bring alcohol? Like, if you're not that People close love with the person, to bring what do I bring? Alcohol. Yeah. People love to bring alcohol. I, I think if you want to bring alcohol, and this is I, it, this is nothing new. Yes. I like to bring, you know, if I bring, you you see it on the show all the time, um, the alcohol. But I like to pick flowers from, like, my garden mm -hmm. and tie it with a really pretty ribbon. Yes. So it's like from so it's like from me. Mm -hmm. And it also it's still personal, different. but it's alcohol and it's Yeah. Yeah. And get good alcohol. Don't bring cheap stuff. Don't well, bring the wine that somebody gave you that you don't like because they're not gonna like it either. Well, you and I have also been in the same situation. So I brought a really nice bottle of Dom to someone's birthday a few years ago and I also bought uh -huh. a book and like really went over the top, never yeah. got a thank you text not a thank you card, not it a thank you anything. Run. What's going on with the Rena situation? We're all good. That's just fun banter with the Elton John know. party. I, I don't know. I don't know. She seems to be very upset about it. Oh, I know. I think it's just banter. I don't think she's genuinely upset at all. I think it's she, just listen, like show banter. I love Lisa. She yeah. knows that. She gets um, it and she loves the banter and the bullshit of yeah. it all. Like, I don't, I don't think she's personally offended at all. Um, but if you need someone to go to the Elton, we're going. <laughs> well, I keep getting, I keep getting these like, offers. People keep saying, we'll go, I'll we'll go, say I'll, thank you. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely send you a thank you card if you take I me. truly, I truly think, and I said this on Watch What Happens Live, I, it could have been just a miscommunication. That was right. not the point. The point was, it can be taking someone to a big party like that, that costs a lot of money or giving someone bolognese. If you're friends, it doesn't matter. Right. For it sure. It doesn't matter to, you know, come also, on. Also, it's like, he brought the she's sauce over. She's giving a hard time. Yeah, no, she's, she's giving, giving her a hard time. Garcella There's a little time. undercurrent of that, I think, throughout the whole season. Yeah. And sometimes if you do a gesture like that, are you doing it to get a thank you or are you doing it to, to actually be genuine? And I, and I think that they were doing it to be genuine. Right. And leave it at that. For sure. For sure. How is the store going, the Sutton concept on Almond? Is that going it's well? great. Yes, going really well. We have a lot of fun, exciting things coming this fall, some new designers, and I have a little um, new pod of uh, my own collection of cashmere Ooh. coming out in October. Oh. So that's very exciting. Are yes. they cashmere really sweaters or what are they? Cashmere sweaters. Oh um, we're just, we're doing sweater, I'm doing sweaters. And um, then we also have some, some trousers and pants. Like I love joggers, cashmere kind of. sweaters. I love cashmere I sweaters. I know. And there's I like... one that has a big cow neck that's so good. So. Oh my yeah. God. Okay. Um, well, when I'm in LA, I'm coming to the store and checking it out. How has it huh. been running yes. a small business during the pandemic? Did you shut down for a while? How was it? Because well, I think we had to. There are a lot of small business owners yeah. struggling, looking for advice. People thinking of starting small businesses. What advice can you give? Know. You know, speaking to that. Well, we. We were really lucky. 
we, I took the time to, when we had to shut down, mm -hmm. uh, we, we did our, we revamped our website and mm -hmm. we did our online sales because we didn't okay. have that before. So, um, that's what we did. Uh, not everybody can has the resources to do that. Um, I know a lot of stores have shut down. Luckily, I was small enough. I knew when I started that I didn't want to take on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, I think for any small business starting, um, start small, you know, there's time. Right. There's time to grow because if you bite off more than you can chew, then you, all you're going to have is just a big wad of food in your mouth. So you've been on a few trips with the show. Are there any places you wanted to visit that you haven't visited yet? Like, where would you love to take the girls that you haven't been? I would, I, I think we should go to London. I think that would be so fun. Yeah, I went to school in London for a year. So I love London so much. Where in London yes, did you live? Me too. Um, I was in... I'm trying, I was in SW7, close to Knightsbridge, I can't remember. I can't even remember what the name of it was. Oh gosh, I wish I could remember the name of it. It's so crazy. It's right, I was by Queen's Gardens. Like, okay, I, beautiful. I was, yeah. What um, year, what year anyway. was this? Was this after you left New York? When did you go to London? So I was there when my youngest was, we moved there when he was four months old. And oh my then um, my middle was four years old and Porter was, um, she turned six there. So I had two in school. God and, bless you. Um, You're like James moving. Was, James was in a stroller and I would walk them to school every day. So I invested in a good pair of wellies mm -hmm. and a trench coat and a wax hat yes. because you cannot have an umbrella and push a stroller. Yeah, no, there's no and way. I walked them to school every day. It was crazy. What was it like moving continents with three kids under the age of seven? Like, God bless you. <laughs> like, why yeah. were you ever doing that? It um, was nuts and I was nursing, but you know, it was fun. I'm actually a pretty like easy, good mover. I'm not easygoing. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a professional mover now. I've no. moved so many times. But you know, you just kind of do it. Yeah. You also spoke about, which I wanted to talk about because I live in New York downtown. You were in New York uh -huh. on 9-11 and that was sort of the catalyst for you wanting to move or to, to get move, out of New York. Yeah. Tell me about your time living in New York because I know you moved here to pursue being a dancer, to be a ballet dancer. Yes, yeah, so I moved to New York when I was 24. And, um, you know, I, I learned quickly that I, I became a nanny because I needed a place to live. Okay. And it allowed me to dance um, during the day. I wanted to, I studied um, Jose Limon technique which okay. was a technique that I wanted to learn. And um, I was asked to audition for the company and didn't go to the audition, which is very interesting that I didn't do it. And so I realized I must not want to do, I don't know what happened. So was that an anxiety thing or was that? Uh, yes. Yeah, it was an anxiety thing. I start. I grew this very strange um, stage fright. Okay. And so I just couldn't do it. Yeah. And I know it's interesting that I had stage fright. Now I'm on a television show. Um, <laughs> but so I did that. And then I worked for Merce Cunningham and uh, I worked for Merce throughout the rest of my twenties. Mm -hmm. And um, I got, I got married in New York and had my first baby in New York and right after nine 11 and um, moved to Augusta. And then three months later, I started looking at apartments again. I was like, I got to get out of here. Yeah. Um, back in I, New York you know, or I back to? A... Yes. And oh my God, I, no. I wanted to get back to New York immediately. <laughs> I was like, what have I done? But I have an apartment in New York and um, I feel like I've lived in New York since uh, ever since. And you and love the like, new house you're in. What did you spend that on? Do you think you'll stay yes, in this house forever? House. You love the new house. You love the um, new car. Yes. Love my new car. Um, I, you know, this house is. I, I'm putting a lot of work into it, and okay. so. Well, this room you know, you're in is gorgeous. Is this, a, is this a guest room? Well, it's or not your done room? yet. No, this is my room, and it's I not done it. at all. We we don't have any furniture, so we're just kind of we're waiting all the furniture to come. So we're like, let's set up something so it looks okay. Um, no, it looks. No, it really just, looks great. It really does. Well, when we get the tour, you're going to die 
My okay. bathroom is beautiful and the closet is crazy. Okay. It's it's gonna it's real it's really good. The house I'm is really excited. Good. No, I'm so excited for the nothing I, There's nothing I love more than saying a woman just reclaim her power like you're single you're in your new house you're the mvp yeah. this season of real housewives the audience loves you Sutton. like i mean Aww. you got some leverage to negotiate for next year because we love you so much <laughs> i don't know what your q score is with the audience but i'm sure it is high because everybody's like Sutton. I, I read something last night. It said Sutton's ankle is broken because she's been carrying this entire season of Housewives. <laughs> That's why her ankle hurts. But no, we That's adore so you silly. and we love you. And I don't want to keep you much longer, but I'm so glad I got to talk to you and so grateful and have an incredible weekend. Oh, thanks. I know I'm getting some well needed rest. For sure. Well, thank you so much. Please. And thank I will stop you. by the store when I'm in LA and everybody's going to yes, love hearing from you. Do. We would love to have you. Yeah. So right, I'll message yeah, you. I'll message you. Josh. Thank you so, so much. Bye, okay. Jen. Bye, cool. Sutton. Bye. All right. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye.